Welcome back to Inigapedia with me and Nika. I am so excited because today we'll be learning all about the circulatory system. Let's go! What is the circulatory system? Hmm. Circulatory system is a transportation of blood that contains oxygen and many nutrients throughout the body. The three major components are the blood, heart, and your blood vessels. Like I just said, your blood, heart, and blood vessels. Keep that in mind. Now let's learn about the different types of circulatory system. Pulmonary circulation and systematic circulation. Let's learn a little bit more about pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation is where the blood is circulated between the heart and lungs. And the impure blood from the heart is carried to the lungs for purification, after which the lungs circulate back the purified blood to the heart. Now let's learn about systematic circulation. Blood is circulated between the heart and the rest of the body. The purified blood is pumped to the entire body and impure blood is sent back to the heart. Now let's learn about the different components of the circulatory system. The heart. The heart is the major pumping organ of the body. It is a muscular bag divided into four chambers, left and right atrium, or you can call it auricle. Your left and right ventricles, it also contains two major arteries, the iota and the pulmonary artery, and two major veins, vena cava and the pulmonary vein. The size of your heart is that of your closed fist. The heart is centered between the two lungs with its apex or lower portion Tilt it towards the left. Now let's learn the circulation of blood right here. First, your superior vena cava, right here, takes blood from the upper portion of your body. And your inferior vena cava, down here, takes blood from your lower portion of the body. And the blood is impure, of course. Then, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava bring blood to your right atrium. Then your right atrium or auricle pumps blood to your right ventricle. Then your right ventricle right here pumps blood or carries blood to your pulmonary artery. Now your pulmonary artery sends the blood to the lungs for purification. Then the purified blood comes from the lungs with the help of the pulmonary vein right here. Then the pulmonary vein transfers the blood to the left atrium or auricle. Then the left auricle pumps blood to the left ventricle. Then the left ventricle pumps blood up to the iota, which starts from here. And then the iota sends all of the blood through to the rest of the body through these little pipes. Now let's learn about blood vessels. The blood vessels are a tubular network that spread across the body throughout. There are two major kinds of blood vessels, arteries and veins. As I said, arteries and veins. The arteries and veins break up into smaller vessels called capillaries. 
Now let's learn about the differences between veins and arteries. Veins carry blood towards the heart and arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry impure blood with the exception of the pulmonary vein and arteries carry pure blood with the exception of the pulmonary artery. Veins have thin walls and a wide lumen. If I go back here, this is the vein's short walls and wide lumens. Then your arteries have thick walls and a narrow lumen. As you can see here, your arteries have really thick walls and a narrow lumen. You can see your veins which are superficial. And you cannot see your arteries because they're deep seated. Now let's learn about blood. Blood is a tissue that helps in transporting oxygen, nutrients, enzymes, and other useful substances throughout the body. It helps in collecting waste from different parts of the body. Human blood is red in color due to a pigment known as hemoglobin. Blood has three major components. White blood cells, short for WBCs, red blood cells, short for RBCs, and platelets. The fluid part of blood is known as plasma. Now let's learn about the functions. The red blood cells carry oxygen. Your white blood cells help with fighting germs and allergies. Your platelets help in the formation of blood clots. What is a blood clot? A blood clot is a clump of blood that have changed from a liquid state to a semi-solid state after exposure to air. This prevents us from excessive bleeding. Like if you get a paper cut, you don't keep on bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. That paper cut gets into the semi-solid state, which prevents us from losing a lot of blood. Kahoot time! How well do you know the circulatory system? Hi everyone, I'm back with the Kahoot, let's start. I'm so excited. One, go. The question is, to double point, what is the three major components of the circulatory system? Blood, heart, lungs, or blood vessels? Which three are the components of the circulatory system? Two, one, done. The correct answers were blood, heart, and blood vessels. Great job. Another double point, ooh. What are the two different types of circulatory system? Pulmonary circulation, right ventricle circulation, systematic circulation, or iota circulation? Four, three, two, one, done. Let's see. If you said pulmonary circulation and systematic circulation, you are correct. Next question, true or false? The function of the white blood cell is to carry oxygen throughout the body. Is that true or false? The function of the white blood cell is to carry oxygen throughout the body. True or false? Four, three, two, one, done. If you said false, that's correct. Because remember, the red blood 
blood cells carry the oxygen. The white blood cells help in fighting germs and allergies. Let's go to the next one. I'm so excited. Another double point. The inferior vena cava collects blood from the bottom portion of the body. Is that true or false? The inferior vena cava collects blood from the bottom portion of the body. True or false? Four. Three, two, one, done. If you said true, you are correct. It was so cool learning about the circulatory system. I hope you had a lot of fun learning about it. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye.